mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang pag-ibig, Diyos ang sinahalan, alam ng puso sa dikit mo'y buhay. Upang hinihiram, tuyan ka ng pag-ibig, sa mandulupi, di ka pasisigil sa nagatak. Ama, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagsama sa araw na ito. Tunay nga na hindi mo kami iniwan pagkus kami ay yung sinamahan at pinagtagumpay. Sa iyo lamang namin Panginoon, ipinagkakatiwala ang lahat-lahat. At ang tagumpay na ito ay tangi sa iyo lamang Panginoon. Patuloy niyo po kaming samahan, palakasin at pagtugumpayin sa anumang hamon ng buhay. Ito ay ang itinataas sa inyong dakilang pangalan at makapangyarihan sa lahat. Amen. At this juncture, Ms. Isel Jane B. Sosobrado is one of the class with honors who will give her welcome remarks. Good morning! In behalf of the class of 2021, it is my great honor to welcome the faculty and staff, parents, siblings, friends, and most importantly, my fellow completers in this most awaited time of the great and students. Today, all of us are set in one accord to reap the fruits of our long labor of tiresome journey during this pandemic. Let us take for a moment to acknowledge all those who have helped and supported us near and far, including our classmates, teachers, and family. My dear friends, let us not stop gaining more knowledge. It is either face-to-face -face or modular class Together, we will take further into progress with our study by putting mass of effort in order to reach our own chosen paths. And so, my dear parents, honored guests, on behalf of the graduating class, it is my pleasure to welcome you all to witness this year's virtual graduation ceremony. To my fellow completers and graduates, I wish you all good luck for the coming years in our lives. May God and His wisdom bless us with success. 
Thank you very much and once again, welcome to our virtual graduation ceremony. Up next is the presentation of candidates for completion by the school officer in charge, Mr. Juscoro C. Gamil, to be confirmed by the school's division superintendent, Dr. Maria Liza R. Tabilon. To our school's division superintendent of Sambuanga del Norte, Dr. Maria Lisa R. Tabilon, I have the honor to represent to you the candidates for completion of Compra National High School this school year 2020-2021, composed of 93 males and 91 females with a total of 184 who have satisfactorily completed the requirements as prescribed by the Bureau of Secondary Education under the K-12 curriculum. Candidates, you have been proudly presented and recommended by your school head for moving up after you have successfully completed all the requirements of the curriculum as prescribed under the K-12 basic education program of the Department of Education. And so by virtue of power vested upon me as school's division superintendent of the school's division of Zamboanga del Norte, I hereby confirm you completers in junior high school for school year 2020-2021. Congratulations. Hello, Compra National High School, to the school administrators, teachers, proud parents, completers, friends, and live viewers, good day to all. I was once a graduating student who had always been eager to listen and get inspired by what the people are saying on the stage in front of me. And it was a great honor to speak in front of aspiring students who were once just like me. Maybe most of us have questions to ourselves and wonder on how we can see the bright side of education at home, especially during this time of pandemic. Some people would have blamed the lack of devices or equipments, slow internet connections, or some could even blame the hot weather that hindi makapokus. It is quite evident how much this crisis has impacted us, especially our mental health. But if we are going to analyze the scenarios, we could understand that we are facing these struggles not because it is that difficult, but because it is a new setup. Gina naman tayo, di ba? Pag may bago, mahirap. What we need to do is we need to learn how to adapt on the system. Consider it as a temporary change of learning environment from face to face into virtual, which is what we call now the new normal. As we're saying, nothing is constant in this world. What we are used to doesn't stay as it is. You know, our chemistry teacher once asked us, what do you think remains constant in this world? And so I thought, is this something to do with the formula constants, something like that? And she added, change. Change is the only constant in this world. Seasons change, people change, times change. Even the formulas, concepts, or what is written on the book changes over time upon new discoveries. As a chemistry student before, it is inculcated in my mind that the definition of chemistry focuses on a chemical change, which is true. So chemical change, change. When doing our laboratory experiments, we are so accustomed to changes that when things don't change, we get bored. We always look out for changes. But in spite of the universe being so dynamic, as I go through life, there still is something that does not change or we cannot change. And that is the past, our past. The past never changes because it's already part of our history. And someday, this new normal we're experiencing right now will soon become our past and everything remains a history. 
The past has gone and the future is yet to arrive. So all we have is now. In this very moment, we cannot experience yesterday or tomorrow because it is right now. As quoted from my favorite cartoon movie, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift from God, and that is why it is called the present. Dwelling over the past is futile. Anticipating the future causes nothing but anxiety. So the best that we can do is focus on now. Believe in your dreams, believe in yourself, and act now. The only thing that is to be carried from the past to the present are lessons. The gift of the present and the lessons from the past is a perfect recipe to create a beautiful future. If you want your dream job, work for it now. Make your present the day one of everything that you want to achieve. The future is a string of today's present. Make your present as valuable as you can. After years of hard works, you are finally getting the opportunity to celebrate it. Maybe sometimes you feel the tears as you have endured the hardships of doing projects, assignments, and exams. I know this is not the graduation that many of you envisioned upon entering the school four years ago. Because instead of feeling the celebration, you are stuck in your houses during the community quarantine. The opportunity to wear a toga, go up on stage, and grasp the diploma and medals is postponed. That made you think a lot of sana and sayang. Sana hindi na nag-quarantine. Bakit ngayon pa kung kailan nag-graduate? Bakit sa batch pa namin? I know there are a lot of regrets and worries, but always remember that there will come a time that our sana will become salamat, our sayang will become saludo, and our bucket will turn into buti na lang. Just hang in there and everything will be worth it. May the past quarantine days have given you enough time to decide on what you are going to pursue in your senior high school. During this challenging time, I find myself coming back to the same thought every morning, and that is to be grateful. Be grateful for the fact that you are alive, healthy, and breathing. Be grateful for the extra time with family and friends, even though it may be through a virtual platform. Instead of complaining on the bands of modules sent every week, just be grateful to the efforts of your teachers behind this just for you to keep your learning process. While there is a lot of uncertainty in the world right now, one thing is for sure, we will come out stronger on the other side. We will learn and grow from our mistakes and circumstances, and we will be ready to fight whatever the future holds for us. One thing also that this pandemic slaps us into reality is that Life is indeed short. So just live your life. Go, make a difference, and make your parents the proudest. To end this, let me share to you this chemistry life lesson I learned that I could never forget. It says, life is chemistry. Dilute your sorrow. Evaporate your worries. Filter your mistakes. Boil your ego. And you will get the crystals of happiness. Thank you and once again, good day. Congrats, computers! Congratulations and well wishes to all our 2021 completers and graduates in all the public and private learning institutions of the province of Zamboanga del Norte. Completing your academic milieu is a great accomplishment and should be celebrated. This year has been like no other, and your dedication and fortitude during this pandemic is much to be admired because the class of 2021 is the class that endured the most challenging of years, which you courageously persevered. You have accomplished so much while navigating the challenges of the new normal. Your hard work and resilience have been impressive 
which concretized this year's graduation theme, Strengthening Quality Education Amid COVID-19 Pandemic. In those days that you have been placed under the shelter of your homes and care and facilitation of your parents while learning independently through modules or through other modalities, many have become your champions and worked incessantly to ensure that education will continue for you. Seeing you graduate today is so assuring and fulfilling for your teachers, families, friends, local and national leaders, and other stakeholders. Your support groups have exemplified a nurturing leadership and have collaborated to surmount overall challenges during the chaotic time to provide for you the much needed resources that will enable you to realize your dreams, knowing that your dreams serve as your driving force to succeed in life. Yet dreams can only be meaningful when in it are embedded the dedication and commitment, a power that lead and power you to translate dreams into realities, the reconciling of intentions with actions to translate dreams into positive outcomes, the energizing of self with good vibes through prayer, empowering, encouraging and inspiring surrounding, the anchoring of pride and confidence and ensuring to be clothed with a grace born out of modesty and humbleness amidst successes and triumphs. The motivating and influencing others which elucidates leading and empowering people and serving God through His people that multiplies and spreads widely the gifts and talents as your important treasures and blessings. Graduates, we adults who have come ahead in life have already committed and dedicated our plans, actions, and resources, hopefully, to make abound the opportunities for you. On this special day commences your journey to another phase of your endeavor in life. You take on a more challenging role to play, and as you traverse the path, it is our prayer that your perseverance and strength carry you through all difficulties and adversities. We will be with you along the way and are already excited to see the positive changes that you will be making in the world we live in. Mabuhay and God bless, Class of 2021. Buenos dias a todos. Good morning, everyone. From the bottom of my heart and on behalf of the regional office, let me greet each and every one of you with this felicitation. Happy, happy graduation. There are three persons whom we dedicate this event first and foremost your parents they have given you so much love and understanding even at this pandemic time if there is that group of persons who are very happy for this accomplishment that you have in this covid pandemic time it's your parents despite the problems of limited access to an online modality of learning they have given the necessary support especially financial support even for those who cannot afford parents have gone out of their way just to help you out and through the years from the beginning of your schooling our parents, your parents, have always been there. In fact, in a classical way of saying, you have never become one without your parents. What you are today, it's all because of your parents. And so to the parents who are attending also the virtual 
graduation exercises. Let me thank you and let me congratulate all of you for having done your best as parents. After all, the real jewels in our family are our children. What they have achieved today is actually a beacon to reckon with and that would be an accomplishment also for us as parents. The second group that we should acknowledge and give accolade is the group of our teachers. And so to our teachers, to your teachers, let me also congratulate and be grateful for that untiring support that you have given in this very challenging COVID pandemic time. We have limited resources, we have limited time and space, but you are true to the work of a teacher. Actually, the theme of strengthening quality education despite this COVID pandemic time rests on the shoulders of our teachers. And so we have tested you for your resilience, for your perseverance, and for your remarkable competency, especially in matters of adjusting the learning resources. And so to our teachers, again, DepEd Region 9 is very grateful for all the sacrifices that you have extended in the parlance of the theme of our 123rd Philippine Independence Day. You have, you have become our heroes because despite the time and the space, you continuously pursue the delivery of the self-learning modules or the so-called blended learning modality. And the last group, of course, is your very own selves, coupled with the support of our local government units, especially also the school administrators. Let me congratulate and thank all of you, especially the principals, who have done all a lot of things just to install and implement the basic learning continuity plan that we have installed for all our schools, even the private schools. And so today is a day of what we call a day of happiness, whether we like it or not. Let's all be cheerful that finally we have reached the end part, the finale of your learning for this school year, 2020-2021. Of course, we all know that this has been a very unique experience having adapted the so-called SLM, the self-learning modules, as a way of getting insights, knowledge, and developing our skills. There are a lot of problems that come our way, especially as we comply with the IATF health protocols, especially that there are a lot of restrictions in the part of our learners. But in totality, we've been true to our mantra that learning must continue. This has been the claimer of our secretary that learning must continue. And so we did prove to ourselves and to the community that learning has continuously been pursued by all of us. And so for Gen X, Gen Y, the millennials and your group Gen Z, we really are very appreciative of that kind of effort that you have extended. There were cases that you have started to stop and be tempted to drop out, but because of the persistence of your parents, the dedication and the commitment of our school administrators and teachers, finally you decided that you should also continue. Indeed, you have continued. Thus, your graduation exercises today. And so to all of you, our warm congratulations and felicitations for having done a good job. And so to class 2021, 
a unique class of COVID era. I mean, you have a positive outlook after these graduation exercises. As we welcome the next school year, and as you welcome also the next set of challenges for your next ladder, next journey, as you want to put yourselves in that challenging part of educating yourselves and feeling accomplished, eventually being part of nation building. So to all of you, congratulations. To all of you who have proven that you are still very strong in mind and in spirit with a strong commitment to pursue quality education. Again, congratulations. Muchísimas gracias. Hasta la vista. each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place uh, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners so congratulations teachers for enduring for your patience for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods 
of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings of fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time uh, even as you have to do family chores even as you are distracted and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many many years from now i have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when i finished high school and when i finished uh, my college studies all i remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, 
the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker of course is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and under one as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that are that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world. 
and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. This point of time, louder your speakers as Ms. Jeanette G. Abad, the one who got the high honors among the 184 declared junior high completers, will give her message from the representative of awardees. My vow of respect to our school's division superintendent, Dr. Maria Liza R. Tabilon, school's district supervisor, Dr. Julia R. Oidi, honored speaker on this ceremony, Mr. Aldexter V. Habunilio, school officer in charge, Sergio Scoro Sigamil, faculty and staff of Compra National High School, the lab herons, my fellow classmates, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a better morning to one and all. It has been four years, but here we are, ready for moving up to our next journey in high school. We work hard to get to this point, but we didn't do it by ourselves. We owe a huge debt of gratitude to the following people. To our teachers, Thank you for generously sharing your time, talent, and knowledge to us. Yes, we understand that it was your job to do it. But what you did for us was beyond the call of duty. You took time to explain lesson to us. Sometimes, multiple times, because we weren't paying attention. You sometimes gave up family time just to come to our house or call us so that we won't get behind of our lessons, especially now in the time of pandemic. You find ways to deliver lessons so that we can still continue our studies. To our parents and family, thank you for an ending support in more ways than we can count. You drag us out of bed every morning, ensuring that we were fed and dressed for school. You've helped us with our homework, gave us money for snacks and transportation to school, and listened to our complaints. You supported us in whatever school activities we had, even it was expensive. There were just a few of a thousand of ways you've helped us along the way. To our coaches and advisors from grade seven to grade 10, thank you for making school more than just classwork. Through sports and academics, who learned how to persevere in the face of adversity and gave our best effort, win or loss. We learned the value of discipline and sportsmanship. We learned how to work closely with others, to achieve a common goal through other activities, such as participation of Student Supreme Organization, Science Club Organization, Ang Alingaungao Team, Compra National High School Band, and other clubs and organizations which I participated. School plays, service projects, 
I will be internally grateful for the opportunity of being part of your team. To our previous principal, Dr. Elinda M. Aurelia, and to our new school officer in church, Sir Juscoro Sigamil, and all the office staff. Thank you for keeping things running smoothly so that our teacher could focus on us. We're better off as a result of it. To my classmates and friends, thank you for all the laughters and joys we shared. You are one of my motivations to work hard in my studies and to complete all of my school requirements in order to proceed to the next level. Above all, thank you to our Almighty God for the wisdom in every decision we make to become who we are right now. As you can see, there must have been at least a dozen people helping in at least a dozen different ways. The best way for us junior high school completers is to express our gratitude is to make the most of the opportunities we've been given and to go out into the world with a goal of making it a better place for the generations that come after us. We will repay that debt of gratitude. Thank you very much. And now, the grade 10 completers as they move up. Grade 10 Diamond Maid, Acaso Kent Joshua Muniz, Albiola Aldrin Jr. Bahian, Arnaes Archie Apa, Buntigao John Briggs Alpas, Crapatanta Arcelito Abadjes, Delostrico Gavino Almirol, Jimena Kirby Sumailo, Homicilio James Russell Galvez, Lenjo Christian Joy Rico, Matias Ralph Canoy, Omanda Mark Brian Dave Tatad, Sagot Twin Justin Sabandal, Timagos Grizzly Sorinio, Female. Abad Jeanette Gipayo, Aligay Rina Jean Dalagit, Altabarino Regin Tikal, Alviola Mariel May Bahian, Antipuesto Shename Soria, Aranias Obri Soa, Arias Pamela Baliling. By Django, Keisha, Glidel, Villanueva, Gitcher, Giselle, Adam, Bohian, Marjorie, Albos, Bustamante, Saiden, Lobandina, Camion, Arian Jane, Homeles, De La Cruz, Rhea Hortel, Indab, Gracel Hope Sagot Ganados Jessica Ivan Vergara Homicilio Priscilla Victoria Torino Habonilio Naira Candy Villamore Humamil Shenami Doroya Lamina Ajane May Manaba Lamorino Angeline Mambayan Loching Jaira Mareth Recanil Manungsong Rosalie Amion Manungsong Rosil Amion Maribojo Reyame Pabilyaran Nitante Jezebel Daligdi Pamunag Daisy Jean Gipayo Pasunting Ravi Ramoga Saragosa Casey Jihan Agrabio Sarang Jesha May Betzer Sario Edeline Saladaga Tabo Tabo Mary Ann Pepito Tanodra 
Angel Clean Sotilio, Torino Rogelin Munez, Obod Lavnel Yabo, Zozo Brado Isel Jane Bostamante. The Grade 10 Emerald Completers. Male, Arcamo Ruel Tusho, Barbosa Raji Kalibog, Barbosa Rashli Kalibog, Belucura Mark John Evangelista, Bendanilio Julius Jr. Munez, Blanco Marvin Asman, Bula Arne Torres, Kalimpong Jose Mario Dalagan, Demoral Florencio Jr. Corbo, Gabotero Grizzly Villanueva, Gumalas Giovanni Andes, Gumanta Jake Serencio, Horwitz John Carl Torres, Lamina Mark Ryan Castigador, Langita Brian Alisuso, Manolo Jason Alvia, Morigo Jeremiah Hamito, Neri Erickson Lubandina, Ogarte Jomari Anko, Pabraquel Noel Gallo, Pamada Neljan Aperdo, Ricarda Karimle Bailoses, Tanudra Renel Rabor, Teleron Jeremy Tabio, Templado Johnny Buenaflor, Villaran Jevin Casico. Female, Ascentista Chrislin Eliaga, Bajo Raylene Tilip, Billones Marian Rone, Bula Jessa Villacura, Cacaldo Blezzi Aperdo Canit Margie Gabato Carasca Jeneline Dumawai De Guzman Mary Jane Pactura De La Peña Quisain Salundagi De Moral Maylin Corbo Hegrimosa Mary Jane Gocotano Epayo Maribel Domocol Hatiko Maybelline Ruiz Magtagad Julian K. Manolong Manatad Ivy May Landiza Mintawan Angel Laksamana Navarrete Maria May Cuevas Suerte Mary Claire Pereo Pereo Teleron Rose Ann Bulak Tumala Maria Liza Rico Grade 10 Garnet Completers, Class 2021 Abondo, Ivan Dave Milihor Altabarino, Christian Mark Tikan Aranita, Rico J. Ogarte Balbuena, Kent J. Pausad Bakurker, Alan Abrinica Basay, Giovanni Clark Adam Bernaya Leo Mintawan Bernaya Rayo Mintawan Kabilin Rowelito Jr. Blanco Kanit Ernesto Jr. Yumagi Ihan John Day Irosido Noel Hilarso Gabotiro Ricky Bitache Himulatan MGZ Zidrex Munez Go Douglas Lumongo Gumalas Mark Jade Himulatan Humalon Rafi Roperos Laparan Ken J. Bustillo Liasan Christian J. Gutual Limbaga Bobby Glenn Padilla Luyo J. Mark Vistal Magsalay, Arnel Fuentes Milana, Kurt Dagayluan Responso, Sherwin Silim 
Roferos Enrique Pontanar Tabanao Clint Barbarona Tanodra John Lloyd Baruro Tolero Jimson Bontigal Vailoses Junmar Bandad Vailoses Rinaldo Adam Villarmente Ramil Cadalso Female Aho Beatriz Sumikaw Amate Jezame Galos Barbarona Rica Neri Camion April Jane Sumailo Cruzada Giselle Lalag Dasal Levelen Tiliron Fabiliaran Lorime Ponce Gumalas Daisy Andes Lim April Genesis Rivera Luyo Clauden Rone Onog Jethriel Paisano Paner Princess Anne Sultan Basil Irish Adam Sanghilan Esther Padilla Trinidad Jolly Marie Paradero Grade 10 Jade Completers Male Alejandro J. Mark Cavan Amate Clefford Gabotero Arbuis John Paul Lindo Banga John Mark Navales Kauba Eljan Ken Sambilad Dausan Aldren Tuquero Embudo Dennis Alima Garsola Ariel Alampay Hatiko Jerry Jr. Aguilar Humamil John Kithley Duruya Ligaspi Arjun Hegrimosa Linjo E.J. Vince Hanyo Maglangit Brian Pilayo Ugarte Ariel Tete Pabrakil Brian Bitache Sabandal Nico Dagwayan Saga Niljan Adang Salazar Raymark Garganian Silvano Mark Paler Soko Anthony Bahonsua Tanudra Janmil Bedolido Tihamo Viljan Magtagad Ugbamin Angelo Torres Female Ansilig Mary Jane Pasunting Antipuesto Prime Victosa Bustamante Christine Pabrakil Cabodillo Lovely Lamusaw Kalibog Pia Humalon Consoso Giselle Tanudra Dingkong Geraldine Tabutabo Hirasmio Marinel Mefranum Joseph Kathleen May Matias Ligaspi Maxine Claire Hegrimosa Lirio Anami Gabato Liwanag Erika Pasqua Lopez Densi Luyo Maceda Dana Tanudra Manayon Grisel Joy Suwa Manongsong Maricel Amyon Pabrakel Roname Atubang Rilien Rina Pabrakel Ruales Clarin Nova Lugo Saladaga Elaine Jane Binlot Puntuhan Jana Grace Kansai The most awaited part shall be revealed by our Active Curriculum Coordinator, Mrs. Elizabeth B. Quatton, the Academic Excellence Awarding. After the thorough grading verification, the school has come up with 1 high honors and 69 with honors 
out of 184 junior completers of this school year. With high honors, Abad Jeanette G. With honors, Akaso Kent Joshua M. Aligay Reina Jean D. Altabarino Regine T. Aviola Aldrin Jr. B. Alviola Mariel May B. Amati Jessami G. Antipuesto Shenami S. Aranias Aubrey S. Arias Pamila B. Arnais Archie A. Asentista Christlyn E. By Django Kesha Glidel V. Bajo Relin T. Barbarona Reka N. Barbosa Rushley C. Melacora Mark Jan E. Betcher Jessel A. Billionis Marian R. Bontigal John Briggs A. Bornea Rayo M. Buhian Marjorie A. Bola Jessa V. Bostamanti Siden L. Camion April Jen S. Camion Aryan Jen H. Krapatanta Arceleto A. De Guzman Mary Jen F. De La Cruz Rhea H. De La Pina Christian S. De Los Trico Gaveno A. De Moral Mylin C. Dingkong Geraldine T. Indab Gracel Hope is Ganados Jessica Ivan V. Jimena Kirby is Hipayo Marivel D. Herasmeo Marinel Im. Himulatan MJ Z Zedrex Im. Homicelio Priscilla Victoria T. Habonelio Nairakindi V. Joseph Kathleen May M. Humamel Shinami D. Lamina Ajin May M. Lamoreno Angeline M. Ligaspi Max Sinclair G. Lenjo Christian Joy R. Luching Jairan Marath R. Manayon Crystal Joy S. Manongsong Maricel A. Manongsong Rosalie A. Manongsong Rosel A. Maribuho Riyami F. Matias Ralph C. Mitanti Jezebel D. Umandam Mark Bryan T. Pamonag Daisy Jean G. Pasonting Ravi R. Rowalis Claren Nova L. Sagot Winchester is Saragosa Casey Jean A. Sarang Jeshami B. Saryo Edelyn S. Tabo Tabo Mary Ann P. Tanodra Angel Clan S. Timagos Cresley is Torino Rogelyn Im. Ovod Labnil Y. And Sosobrado Isel Jean B. 
Finally, indeed, we have reached the momentum to make this virtual presentation complete. Priscilla Victoria T. Homicilio, another class with honors, who will have her forwarding message. To my fellow completers in this momentous event, I commend you for the hard work you put in reaching what you have achieved today. As completer, do not think that learning will stop here. Treat this graduation day as a gateway to a higher level of learning. As young adults, a new test is at hand to better understand your craft, master it, and possibly achieve great things doing so. Before I close this virtual moving up ceremony, I would like to thank our school officer in charge, Sir Joscoro Sigamil, faculty and staff for making this event possible, family, friends, and our Almighty God for being other side while we are in our own battle to achieve our victory. To my fellow achievers and completers for the entire year, Compra National High School is very happy for us and we are expected to continuously render this victory. To the teachers, we also extend our sincere gratitude to you as you didn't only teach, but lead the students in this institution. Wherever your students may be in the future, we will remain humble to you because your heroic deeds cannot be tied up. Let me just leave you then with one final message, a message that can be summarized in four simple Latin words. Peraspera ad astra. Those are rendered in English as through difficulties to the stars. Once again, thank you and have a great day ahead. Lastly, Mr. Juscoro C. Gamil, our school OIC and head teacher too, will deliver his closure for this momentous event. I sincerely express my heartfelt gratitude to the parents and the working committees, especially to the guest speakers who made this event special, memorable, and significant to all of us. Moreover, I would like to acknowledge and recognize the sustainable support of the local government unit of Liloy, spearheaded by our municipal mayor, Honorable Roberto Limoy Jr. To our very supportive barangay and uh, PTA officials, to the school faculty and staff, to our cooperative parents and stakeholders, thank you so much for your continuous support. To the graduates and completers, and to all the learners, never stop reaching up for your dreams amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. Make your parents' heart wrapped up with joy and honor someday. Above all, lift up your thanksgiving and trust unto the Lord who sets all successes at the right time. God bless and congratulations. <laughs>